Cardoso from Sochi Conscious Arabia, and today I'm actually happy to have Giorgio Ungania from TEDx Dubai. What's up, Giorgio? Thank you very much. All good, Valencia. Thank you for having me at the, on your your website. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for coming out. Um, but before we actually start, uh, I just wanted to to ask you to define what exactly is TED and what's the difference between TED and TEDx? Okay. So TED stands for Technology, Entertainment and Design and it's um, the 30 years old conference that takes place every year in the States and in the UK. And um, it's last five years TED went through major changes. The first one was that they introduced the uh, videos. So at the end of every conference the, the video went online for free. That changed everything, okay? Because uh, TED became a phenomenon overnight. So mm -hmm. people used to uh, send links to talks, and it was really uh, known overnight. The second change was in 2009. Uh, they introduced the TEDx concept. Uh, pretty much, is using the TED brand. They allowed people around the world uh, to run self-organized TED-like TED conferences. Right. This is how they call them. So you need to have a license, so you need to apply. And then there's different licensing. You can run a 100C conference up to a 1,000C conference. And so far, we have 2,000 conf TEDx conferences around the world. So every major city in the world has one, including Dubai. And, and it just like, it spread virally the uh, same as the videos. So TED's pretty huge. TED is pretty huge. The numbers, uh, l l last numbers counting half a billion people watching TED Talks online. And that's a huge number, if you think. That's amazing. Um, what, what do you exactly do, and what inspired you to kickstart TEDx Dubai? Yeah, so in 2009, I was a TED fan like many others. And when this TEDx concept came out, I thought that it was something good to bring to Dubai. So uh, I applied for the license. I managed to get a thousand seat conference together with James Packaway, which was the uh, co organizer in 2009. And then, pretty much, we took up the challenge of uh, bringing for the first time a TEDx event to the UAE. And we were we worked very hard and we were very lucky for the outcome. So, that was the first time that uh, actually a big uh, size TED com TEDx conference w was brought to this part of the world. Uh, what, what pushed me is just to, you know, to improve the society I'm living in because I think to give the exposure that TED gives to individuals which are living in Dubai and the UAE, it improves the overall quality of the community. So it's, uh, you know, I do it for the community because I, I like to stay. I don't want to leave Dubai. So, <laughs> so that's what keeps you here. Uh, yeah. And I believe it's, one of, it's the first in the Middle East, right? No, no, there was an Arabia, TEDx yeah, Arabia and Saudi Arabia. before. Okay. So it was not overall the first, but it was the first very large one. And right. it, at the time, in 2009, was one of the most successful in the world. To the point that we provided two speakers that were asked to go and speak at TED. Talking of speakers, um, who's, who, who's spoken at some of the TEDx Dubai's? Well, we have many. In 2009, we had uh, Joy Chiito from Creative Commons, uh, the founder of Creative Commons, and now he's uh, heading the MIT Digital Lab. And he's a Japanese uh, genius behind uh, Twitter and other technologies. And he was living in Dubai. So that was the link. So we, re we were representing somehow Dubai because he was a resident. Then we have I mean, Dr. Naif al Mutawa, is a Kuwaiti uh, entrepreneur that started the 99 comics series. He was asked to go and speak at TED as well. We had many. We had um, Jamila Buwarde uh, for the Axis of Evil comedy tour. That was in 2009. In 2010, we had, uh, again, a mixed bag of local, but locally based speakers and international ones, but the international ones always had a link to the place, right. because it is TEDx Dubai, so we need to represent the city. Somehow. Exactly. And many, I mean, uh, yeah, so 30 in total. Uh, I, I cannot name one, otherwise <laughs> the other one will get upset with me. But, uh, That's all right. So what do, you have, what do you have planned for us for the next TEDx? Well, the next one is going to be in October, end of October, and uh, as um, we always like to do something different every year, okay? I mean, the theme changes every year, and this year is the beauty of small things, but again, it's not, not only the theme that changes, as well the mechanics behind the scenes. So the three major innovations for this year are the, um, 
Number one, we're going to have uh, three speakers selected by the community. At TEDx conferences, the organizers are those who select the speakers. This year, we'll love to have the community involved, so we're going to have three speakers selected by the audience, not by the curators. So we're going to have some mini events where we're going to record some pitches of ideas of people willing to speak at TEDx Dubai. And then we'll put all these ideas online, and people will vote, and the top three will become TEDx Dubai talk in October. That was, that's the first uh, innovation. The second one is that we're going to participate to the JR TED Price art project. It's called Inside Out. Uh, it's about using art to improve the world through portraits. Right. All the information is online. And the third one, it's uh, an innovation with our partners. As you know, every conference has to be supported by partners that cover the costs. Right. And this year we have some ideas which are different from the others. So we're going to pretty much ask all our uh, sponsors to create in the uh, exhibition space some little lounges so people can watch the TEDx Dubai Talks live without having to be inside the theater. Many people love to be inside the theater, but many others prefer to be outside so they can discuss because the theater itself is very acoustically controlled because we have the cameras. Mm -hmm. So we're giving a chance to the uh, sponsors to create their own little theaters. And I'm very curious to see what's going to happen because it's, uh, again, the, the, the um, you've been to one of the, uh, the conferences, yes, correct? Yeah. It's not going to be a thousand seat, the, uh, the theater now. And when you go to TED, the main theater is not accommodating every delegate. It's, yeah. So you have to queue to get in. So the main venue, I think, is going to be around 300, 350 seats. So you actually have to queue to get in. So you might prefer to have, a, you know, to, to watch a couple of talks live and then the, all the rest outside. This is what I do when I go to TED. Yeah. And it's a different kind of experience. It, it can be even better than being inside the theater because you can share your emotion with your friends. And uh, So that's the third innovation. So the partnership will be heavily involved in creating the experience that TEDx Dubai will be. That sounds really fantastic. Um, and last but not least, how can people out there get involved on various levels? Okay, we, we get really hundreds of, of, of emails of people interested in helping us out, which is overwhelming. The problem is uh, the majority of the work is it's to, 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 uh, to, to look for the funds. Okay, So that's where I spend the majority of my time after 6 p.m. And that is really something that cannot be outsourced. I cannot right. go ask people, guys, go out and find sponsors. Because in the mentality of, of the Middle East, you have to have a one-to-one -one conversation with the decision maker on the other end. And you always want to talk to the guy in charge. So at, at, until end of summer, uh, really there's not much the community could do. Uh, but after the summer, when we're going to have the funds, the venue is ready, and, and then it's, it's a completely different ball game. You're going to have 100 volunteers again this year. And because of the uh, of the uh, uh, community speakers, the community will be heavily involved in voting, creating some mini campaign to support one idea or the other. That's so fantastic. it's going to be uh, community driven. That's really cool. Thank you so much, Giorgio. Uh, I, you know, for your in-depth uh, analysis of everything and giving us um, everything about TEDx Dubai. Yeah. Um, and I appreciate really your time and you having a chat with us. Thank you very much. I always. Um, promote and love people that create content that does not go on TV, on cinema, on printed press. So everything which goes online for me, it's a, it's a blessing. So I have to thank you to creating this content for, on, on behalf of TEDx Dubai. Thank you. thank you. So there you have it. That was George from TEDx Dubai on Socially Conscious Arabia. Keep visiting our website for more people making a positive impact on the Middle East.